I have to confess, I was actually uh, rather relieved because uh, previously we've been talking about uh, prison terms in, in years, right? The three years, up to five or something. So it's uh, not too bad, quote and unquote, except they are coming down hard on our young. Uh, all these prosecutions amount to persecution of our young. The fact that uh, there's been no attempt whatsoever on the part of the authorities to try to understand the drive, what's really behind the protests that makes you feel sick. And uh, Hong Kong is uh, sinking like a little boat now, uh, because under one country, two systems, we're supposed to have uh, plenty of room under two systems to mind our own business. But now they've slapped just one country on us, and uh, we're all now learning to live legally uh, ever since uh, July the 1st, the uh, implementation of the new national security law. And uh, this is where Hong Kong stands now. Yeah. Claudio, what sort of deterrent do you think it is going to be for other activists? Is this a strong message that they are going to have to think very differently about how they take their protests to the Chinese government? I think uh, the authorities, both in Beijing and Hong Kong, are trying very hard to introduce some sort of political inertia into this city that uh, we should all just go home, forget about uh, political development or any fight for democracy or a more representative government. Just uh, forget about it. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic and there are social uh, the restrictions. Uh, you, we, you, 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 you can't take to the street to protest. Things may look rather bleak. But uh, I hope I don't sound uh, rhetorical to you, but uh, seriously, fighting for democracy or, or uh, the, the speaking for the people, that sort of urge, is humanity. And humanity will always prevail. So we'll see. Politics uh, could, could take a long, long time. A day in politics could be such a long time. And we could be uh, uh, facing weeks, months, ahead without much happening. But uh, I never underestimate the uh, determination, the passion on the part of Hong Kongers mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, our, our democracy fight, especially on the part of our young our young, young activists. Claudia, mm -hmm. though, yesterday you uh, finished up uh, in the mm -hmm. legislature. Uh, it, it must have been a difficult day for you, talking of the passion that you have poured into your political career and your fight to try and keep some representation in that body um, for all in Hong Kong. I tried, I suppose, my best uh, to uh, make some difference. I haven't succeeded, but I'm sure there'll be uh, many more uh, on the way uh, in, in, along the path. Um, but uh, the, personally speaking, I've been uh, clearing out my office ever since August. Uh, as soon, basically, as soon as they announced the cancellation of our legislative elections uh, on grounds of uh, the pandemic, I knew something disastrous is about to happen on the political front. We'll all be <laughs> chucked out or something. So I was psychologically prepared. But then I've served two terms, and it's uh, six, eight years altogether. It's a long, long time. And uh, it's been physically and mentally strenuous, but uh, I've done my part. And uh, I'll, I'll still be uh, uh, the trying uh, to be helpful if I can be mm -hmm. of any help uh, to the uh, cause in future. It would be interesting to get your views on a very perplexing position that Australia finds itself in with China. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is China going fiercely on the att attack against Australia over, of course, what was admittedly a very dark chapter for this country in Afghanistan. How mm -hmm. does Australia play this card? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, advising uh, on the Australian diplomacy, but then uh, uh, that, that's uh, uh, a fact, uh, the, the way uh, they would uh, come with uh, their sort of 
attack. And I have to say, Australia probably is not uh, uh, the number one uh, 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 friend <laughs> uh, in the mind of Beijing. They still are thinking very much of the United, situa United States uh, situation. Mm. Yes, it's a, it's a tricky one. But uh, I think many there people is. salute you for the, the work that you have put in. And um, as you say, history, it, history moves. It might be slowly sometimes, but it does eventually move. Yeah, we might have lost a battle, but uh, we're not giving up on the war. Lovely to talk. Thanks, Claudia. Thank you.